I just wanted to let you know about yet another suspension. This time it's Nathan Ford's account that has been suspended. But watching his video, uh, I saw one of the mirrors of his, account, his video announcing his suspension and his new channel. But in one of uh, the one thing that I was a little bit perturbed by in that video is that there wasn't enough information in there. You see, and this is something that I would la like to ask of anybody who finds they get their account suspended and who would like people here on YouTube to post a mirror video saying please get the account reinstated. It would be good if we knew as much as possible about what video of you got taken down, what was in the video, ideally of course. It would be great if there was a mirror somewhere that we could look at so we could actually see the video for ourselves. But even if not, describe the video and tell us what was in it. And, you know, what was in the takedown notice of the video. And what sort of a suspension it is. For example, in Cosmic Zen's case yesterday, a lot of people didn't realize he was on a two-week suspension and his account would still be up and visible for everybody. So that sort of information is relevant to us so we can, you know, uh, make sure that our videos request, requesting for the account to be reinstated are to the point and uh, pertinent to what is actually going on. <clears throat> but also because looking at suspensions of the last week, I am getting very confused. You know, an awful lot of people are pointing the finger at flagging campaigns. But what, from what I'm hearing, that doesn't seem to add up. It doesn't seem to add up at all. You see, looking at James Randi, for example, and the, the Randi Foundation, why that account was suspended, according to James Randi himself, it seems to have been some sort of a mistaken identification of copyrighted content, whatever that is. And the same with Cosmic Zen. It seems to have been a case of somebody or something mistakenly identifying the video as containing copyrighted content by Edward Current, even though Cosmic Zen did have explicit permission from Edward Current to use the material in question. And James Randi too said the material was from a friendly party that would be quite happy to give the permission to use it and that has since been resolved. But obviously in both those cases this was not the case of somebody filing a DMCA. Now Edward Current clearly did not file a DMCA against Cosmic Zen in this particular instance. So how did the video then get identified as containing copyrighted content and why was the response to just hit the account with a suspension without asking any questions, without any attempt to resolve whatever the perceived issue was. So this points at another one of these automated systems in YouTube that don't work the way they should. And that sounds to me a bit more plausible than a flagging campaign. However, a flagging campaign is not unthinkable because, you know, even though YouTube do reassure us that when videos are being flagged that somebody will review them and only if the flagging is deemed to be appropriate will action be taken against the account, the reviewers, if they are human beings at all, are only human beings and they can easily be bamboozled by enough flags to be swayed to thinking that there might be something to it and then take action. So in that case, you know, that is why it is so important for us people who are still here and who want to post videos saying like, please reinstate these accounts, to know exactly what was in those videos that were taken down and that led to the suspension of the accounts. So please, 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 if this happens to you, let us know first so we can make a very direct and focused video 
asking for your return and then get that one mirrored all over the place. I think we can beat this thing, whatever it is, right? I don't think, well, I'm, I don't know. I'm not going, even going to go there. I was going to say, I don't think there is real malicious intent here. I don't know. There could well be. But I also think that maybe this is just yet another technical fuck up. And it mightn't be as bad as it seems. But the more information we have, the more we can pinpoint what's going on and get the information over to YouTube. And maybe then this will stop happening sooner rather than later.